Hello, and welcome to another edition of Orthopedic Sports Medicine Patient Educational Series with Dr. Adam Jaracki. In this video, we're going to go over the specifics of the surgical procedure necessary to perform an all inside meniscal repair. Today's demonstration will be performed on the right knee. As we zoom in on the right knee, we see the femur up above, the tibia down below. The meniscus acts as both a shock absorption as well as providing stability to the knee. If we look carefully at this knee now, you can see the two different menisci in the knee. This is the outside part of the leg. This is the inside part of the leg. The outside meniscus is called the lateral meniscus and you can see it come all the way around the periphery of the joint. The inside meniscus or the medial meniscus comes all the way around the periphery on the inside portion of the joint. In this particular surgical animation, the patient has suffered a tear of their meniscus in the back portion of their lateral meniscus or the meniscus on the outside part of the leg. As we discussed previously in our meniscal repair video, this tear is in a single plane. It is vertical, meaning it's going straight up and down, and it is located out towards the periphery as opposed to towards the central portion of the meniscus. All of these characteristics make this particular type of tear in the meniscus very amendable to surgical repair. We will come in with an all inside arthroscopic meniscus repair device. When we look at it from the back, the meniscal repair device will come in through a poke hole in the skin in the front of the knee. The meniscus is penetrated in two separate locations with the needle from the meniscal repair device. The device then deploys these two small soft tissue anchors that are placed up behind the meniscus to anchor the suture to the tissue. The device can then be removed and the suture is then tightened from the front. As the suture is tightened, it brings the two surfaces of the meniscus together, completing the repair. In doing a meniscal repair, we want to get compression of this tissue in order for the tissue to actually heal. Because placing weight on the knee actually further compresses this tissue, we do allow patients to weight bear following a traditional meniscal repair. The excess suture is then cut and removed in the final repair is seen. I would like to thank my friends at Arthrex for supplying the implants necessary to perform an all inside meniscal repair. I would also like to thank Arthrex for supplying the surgical animation used in today's video. I hope this video has helped you to understand exactly how we perform all inside meniscal repairs. Have a good day.